Hi guys, welcome to my little demo of Copper Cube. Uh, this is another ship interior I've got here. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, I promised the, I said to the creator of the, uh, the developer of this asset, I'd do a video. So here it is. Finally, it's about two months too late, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it's not bad. Um, I'll put some sounds. I'll put flash, some warning sounds with that. Um, so we've got to a bit of a uh, little bit of not a, it's not finished obviously it's just a bit of sound there not finished this is meant to be steam uh, could be look, I suppose it could look a bit better that's that will give you electric shock like now but it doesn't actually make any sounds at the moment I'll fix it up uh, when you get hurt that is um, yeah and I got uh, got my usual storage stuff happening uh, I won't need that at the moment come back for that. Uh, I've got batteries, oops, and I've got walking sounds, different surf surfaces, that one, and that one, so, and then you've got drag and drop, and that changes the sound as well, depending on what surface it lands on, um, yeah, that's alright, you know, it's pretty smooth, good enough, I suppose, maybe I should slow it down a little bit but anyway it's not too bad you can walk around with it <coughs> jump drop it um, the battery just went flat I'll just change the battery and my torch there we go this is the post-processing torch um, yeah and we've got some glow sticks um, yeah got a few different things working that's all working and we've got uh, doors opening and closing looks pretty cool isn't it um, so I'll do a circuit around the place I won't go through that way just yet because I'll just show you I've got access levels working as well so I need level one it just happens to be a card here you can't really see it very well but anyway um, so I'll pick that up there you go, that's the ship. Uh, that's the picture of the ship I'm using. Uh, the outdoor ship will look like something like that. It's a bit hard to see in the video maybe, but um, anyway, so level one, and you've got your usual inventory and stuff. That tells me that that's using the current item, uh, that little cross there. So, for example, if I, let me see if this works. Now I gotta get out of that, cycle through to the next torch. And now it's gone to that one, the next one. Yeah, it works, so that's okay. Uh, I've actually got all different things here. You got This is recycling here. When I eventually incorporate that, this is pass cards, clothing, guns, uh, health, food, and water. And these are the different tools. So that'll, that'll work now. It wouldn't work before because um, access levels. Um, got all these doors working I got this is not in the original uh, the, the asset that I bought from the creator the developer of the of this uh, ship interior I just added all these side these side rooms got some carpet walking sound batteries gone flat and these are all the other all the doors can open and close all at the same time there's no problem all works pretty good that way actually now after I finally fixed that problem I had with the uh, hiding and unhiding not always working I fixed it up yeah. I haven't fixed you know this is just temporary I'd like to make room inside the middle there and uh, have this door it's a nice door actually you've got a nice little window in this in the middle I might change those doors and put that those doors over here so you can have the exit at either side of the ship at least this one here, I might swap it over change this door to that one so you can sort of see outside a little bit there at the moment uh, well I think I might swap that over I'll put a little, uh, another, a double door like a, a air pressure lock type thing to make it look like an exit uh, and I'll put that as a normal interior door I think better notice how with copy cube it is pretty good in some ways that you can have use normal maps normal textures and all the interior services it'll darken the whole place up 
but if you don't use it on the outside it's a lot brighter so that's actually good works quite well for indoor and outdoor environments you can have like you know caves dark and outdoor bright that sort of thing and the directional light will work quite nicely on the outside but it won't touch anything on the inside so that's good that's how you want it um, yeah I haven't done you know fix up all these monitor screens and stuff I'll fix all that up a bit later um, but this is uh, oh okay another bug there yeah, okay don't worry about that fix that up oops let me just get back again it'll be quick okay so these are all the same either side it's it's pretty much exactly the same either side of the ship not exactly but similar just uh, reversed actually yeah so you got carpeted rooms and then you'll have a storage room here oh that's another carpeted room little one and then you'll have a storage room here either side of the ship There used to be a cover, like a blue see-through cover that came on the front of these things. I might actually grab that and put it back on and make it uh, not see-through, so it's like a door. I'll put it through Blender uh, and thick, uh, and um, yeah, make it thicker, like a proper door, and um, retexture it. Yeah, it might be right. Yeah. So anyway, it's a bit of a uh, quick overview of my this this ship in. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work, not just on this, sh this ship level, but on the coding, so that's why it's, uh, it's a long time between videos. So you got, uh, I might, I'll, I'll link that to the wind speed, these uh, fans, so that'll, that'll make more noise and turn faster if it's windy outside, so that'll be cool. Uh, this is just a steam, you, if you walk over it you'll, you'll hurt yourself, but not at the moment, it's not working at the moment, but um, yeah. Um, so we can see outside a little bit there. That's what it, um, you know, normally looks like. I'll, I'll try and make a nice window somewhere in the ship so you can have a good look outside of it while you're still inside the ship. Yeah. But anyway, that's a quick overview of the, if the, this level and a few changes in the coding. So I've got a window there, but that's too small. It's too low actually. Um, some of the. Uh, scaled ratios are a little bit off so that's made for a small person whereas these doors are made for a bigger person so I mean the scales a bit off but some places but that's alright it's a really good level really well designed and it was pretty cheap too so I'm pretty happy about that um, yeah it's really good um, either side of the ship both ends are pretty much the same just I'll, I'll have to make some changes to delete some stuff and make it a bit more different either end of it um, but yeah um, so I did have to decimate this uh, level that, that the, um, the developer made um, unfortunately just a little bit because it was um, this copper cube can't take too many polygons so I had to reduce it down a bit I think it's 420 or 50,000 polygons bytes at the moment uh, and about 200 and well okay I've got three levels of textures the lowest one's 230 megabytes I think the next one up is about six or eight hundred megabytes and the top one's over a gigabyte. Uh, I've got to make changes to the highest level because it actually crashes, it will crash the, the, the game engine because um, it's on medium at the moment. I can change it to high but it's, I've, it's all 4K textures I've put it on high, it's too much. It, um, you can have some 4K textures but not all of them. Yeah, so otherwise it's just too much for a 32-bit application it'll just um doesn't like it yeah anyway so yeah uh working pretty good i fixed a ton of bugs absolutely recoded a stack of things since my last uh video but um i'll have to change that reverse that out <laughs> um yeah but it's looking pretty good isn't it I, i'm fairly happy with it. it's come along a long way since um the last one um that light, if the battery gets low enough, will start flashing. Um, you can't really hear the noise of the, the light. You can slightly. It's not very loud. Um, I'm still considering whether to have that flashing all the time or just when the battery gets low. But as you can see, the solar battery on the top right, uh, it's the middle of the day, yeah, 100% charge, middle of the day. As soon as you open doors, it uses up a bit of power. 
and each time you do that the power go down so you've got limited use of uh, all this electricity before you're stuck inside the ship if you don't monitor the resources properly which is uh, cool I think I guess a pretty cool idea yeah um, yeah so anyway I think that's a nice little update um, this garbage bin over here uh, I'm gonna use a recycling sort of a recycling sort of thing eventually where you can recycle rubbish and turn it into credits and then you, you can use credits to go to a, a food machine or something and buy something to eat or something like that yeah <laughs> I'm gonna do that so anyway you can see the frames per second in the top left it's always about 62 61 so FPS is pretty good um, I think the hiding and unhiding situation is actually it is working. Oh yeah, I'm just looking outside. Okay, it is working, yeah. Because so, if it was not working, I'd see the other side of the ship. Just there, but it is working. Um, yeah, same thing here. Okay, yeah, it's, that's working, all right. Um, yeah, so 61, 62, usually pretty solid 62 actually, but uh, anyway. So, you can change the battery and the torch, you can put the torch away, that sort of thing. Um, it, the ambient lighting when the, the daylight starts uh, it up it, it so it goes from very dark to bright on the outside and on the inside because of the normal maps uh, textures on it it will brighten up a little bit but not too much it's just a little bit I think that's a pretty nice balance actually uh, so you're getting in a sense a sort of a little bit of outdoor lighting inside the ship uh, it's, a, it's a crash spaceship it's probably full of holes anyway isn't it so I think that's all right so uh, it's working all right, uh, not too bad. A lot, a lot of more work to be done, but this is just a, a little nice little uh, interior. I thought I've got heaps, I've got heaps of other interiors I've been working on the last few months, and I'm going to show off a few of those cool ones as well. But this one's probably one of the better ones I've seen so far. So yeah. Alrighty, no worries. Hope you like that. Uh, let me know you got any feedback, ideas, something you like, you don't like. Uh, I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Cheers.